So we're here talking to all the most popular baby brands, uh, but in particular, what do you think the modern dad wants in a product? Uh, quite often it can be obviously good value for money, which is key nowadays, but uh, also all the value and safety. So uh, you know, tying all those together is what we try to do all the time with Joy, whether it's home products, car products, or, or the wheels. So. And what is your most popular baby product with dads? Uh, I would say at the moment it is the Spin 360, and we've actually just launched literally this week the new iSpin 360, so taking it to the next level with the new iSize standard. And what is new about this one? Um, so, of course, complies to R129, which is the iSize, but we've built in lots of new gadgets, which, of course, as dads do tend to love. So, with regards to the harness system here, uh, we've made it now intuitive for whoever's using it. As you pop in the child in, as you start to tighten it, you'll see the side impact guard surround system automatically engages, so it's something they can't forget because it does it automatic. Um, also, little extra features like the indicator popping that on the top of the system here, instead of being down at the foot, where, of course, in the darkness, of the, the winter months you can't, you can't always see, see it so easy so making that more intuitive and then also the rotation so on our r44 one to rotate it's at the front we've now made it even easier by popping it at the side so we can gain access much much easier to uh, to, to rotate and spin i invented uh, the milky meter because uh, when I got my first child, sometimes I also had to warm baby bottles. Normally it was my wife doing it, but sometimes she asked me to do it because she was calming the baby down because it was hungry and crying. And then I could not remember the setting and how much time and also the, the, the volume of the milk change in time. And that's why I figured out if we could measure the temperature inside the microwave, it, it could tell me the, when I should stop the microwave oven, that would be perfect for me. So being an electrical engineer, we, uh, together with a colleague of mine in Denmark, we invented Milky Meter. And Milky Meter is the first thermometer for microwave ovens that can actually measure the temperature inside while the milk is being heated. And the very clever thing is that it harvests the energy from the microwave oven, so you don't need batteries or any charger or, or, or wire. It just works from the energy from the microwave oven. Could you tell in your own words what it means to be a modern dad? Yes, uh, you know, in, in Denmark, the dad has uh, normally three months uh, of maternity leave. And that, I, I think it's a very nice thing because in the start, the, the baby is very connected to the mom because she needs to breastfeed and so on. But later on, uh, it's very nice also to, to get some connection to your child and learn, learn uh, your child, to get to know your child. So, yeah. To some talk. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> The Eye Candy Lime is a single push here, um, but the one of the advantages it has is that it's got an integrated ride on board. So should you have uh, two children, one older child and younger child, older child can stand on the integrated ride on board. So that's a very, very unique feature. We've also got a designer collection within the Peach range. Um, it comes with a full package of uh, duopod and bag, and that's proved quite popular today as well. And so could you explain to us what it means to be a modern dad? A modern dad, well I've actually got two children myself so I would term myself a modern dad. A modern dad is somebody who obviously works and obviously in the evenings are helping out with my children so I think years ago maybe the dads had a bit of a, a backward seat but now all dads are heavily involved in even the push your decision. Dads come along now with, the, um, with their wives, they're heavily much involved in decision making of which pram they're going to go for as well. This is another collaboration. It's actually a collaboration with Scuderia Ferrari. Um, Ferrari licensed out their logo to us in a partnership um, in which we've developed a range of push chairs, car seats um, from uh, the age of zero all the way up to 12 years um, for anyone that loves detailing a Ferrari or even has a Ferrari. <laughs> what do you think that it is about this collection that modern dads like the most? I think modern dads will love this because if they can't have a Ferrari, having a Ferrari car seat may work, but also the colours are much suited to dads. It's a red racing Ferrari uh, colour that's been used across all of the collection um, and it's Ferraris. <laughs> Here at the baby show this week we're giving parents um, some taster lessons on what to do of things like if your baby's choking, basically to increase confidence. Um, so I'm going to show you today what to do if a baby is choking for those new dads out there. 
Um, so, um, what the baby may choke on, it could be from newborn, it could be things like curdled milk, or it could be, um, obviously, when they start to crawl, it may be little toys they may pick up, things it's like that. Around. Yeah, this is a real common concern amongst parents. Um, choking's one of the biggest ones. Um, so, the way you know your baby is choking, your baby may not be able to make any noise, and that's how we know their, their airway's blocked, so they may not be able to breathe properly, so acting really quickly is really important. Um, so the way we know our baby is choking, they won't be able to cry, they won't be able to cough, um, and they may not be able to breathe. So the first thing we try is something called a back blow. Um, so I'm gonna lean my baby now down my thigh. thigh. Um, I'm sitting down while I'm doing this, so I've got complete control. Just supporting them around the chin to support their head and neck. And then what we're gonna do is something called a back blow. So it is quite firm, you need to do this. In between the shoulder blades, heel of your hand, and this is safe for babies of all ages. Yeah, this particular technique is up to the age of one. Yeah, so it's a slightly different technique once they hit one. Um, actually, if you download our app, you can see a little animation on that, which is really good. So we try up to five of these first. Uh, you'll soon know if, if it dislodges, the baby might cry. It's causing a vibration. And then what we do, we turn the baby over if that hasn't worked. And it's, you know, in the unlikely event, it, you know, it's rare that wouldn't work. Um, and then what we're going to do is something called a chest thrust. So a chest thrust. Is in, we're going to press in the centre of baby's chest just below the nipples um, and what this is it forces air out their lungs so we're going to deliver up to five of these and then if that hasn't worked you would get someone to call 999 and just continue until the ambulance arrives. Would you say that you're seeing more dads join these classes or is it basically mums? Yeah, it's been a bit of a mixture here at the baby show today. Um, it's good for all parents and carers and grandparents, anybody to learn first aid. It's really easy, it's simple, you know, um, a few small steps you can make a massive amount of difference. So we are here with Tara on the buggy testing track. So can you just tell us a little bit about the track, what you guys are testing for? Absolutely. So. Um, the idea um, came about from mums at Made for Mums who we would go to a shop that was selling a buggy and you'd sort of push it about that much and say, oh yeah, this seems fine, I'll buy it and spend a thousand pounds on it. Mm. Um, so we came up with the idea of having a track that parents could actually test the buggies properly. So we've got different terrains, we've um, got grass, we've got gravel, we've got ramps. Um, because often for mums and dads, it comes down to like, they're trying to decide between a couple of buggies um, and there's no greater test of a buggy than giving it a push with a baby in. How was your day today? Uh, pretty full on. Yeah? Loads of information, loads of stalls, uh, loads of cool products that I've never seen before, heard of before, so yeah, really good. Are you a soon-to-be dad or you already have children? No, soon-to-be first-time dad. Uh, are you a bit scared? <laughs> scared, excited, yeah. We've learned so much yeah. about different products and new things that are out there. So yeah, no, it was educational. It's a bit less than we thought it was going to, so oh, okay. it's always a bonus. It's always a bonus. Are you excited? Scared? Both. 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 Excited. <laughs> okay, well, good luck and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.